Sur la glace, représentant la Russie. On the ice, representing Russia, Anna Pogorilaya. Best introductions on ice anywhere, in France. You know, isn't French just beautiful? No question. On the ice, another skater from Russia, one of four here, Anna Pogorilaya, the 18-year-old from Moscow. She's been so on her game this season. In the short program, she stumbled coming onto the ice and said she hurt her back a little bit. And moments like that can always throw you for a loop. She had a slight mistake in the short program, but with her intensity, I think she's back in it. She chuckled about that with the media afterwards, too, and said, yep, I'm fine. Great speed in at this combination. Triple Lutz, triple toe, very solid. What to watch for in this free program is a different level of intensity throughout the choreography. She definitely does play up the fact that she is taller than a lot of the other ladies. Despite being of similar age, she definitely uses her womanliness to portray different characters than the rest of the girls in the competition. Maria Soskova, by the way, 198.79, her overall total, most likely will not be in the mix for medals. There is just a lot of pressure at this event, at the final. The best of the best, you almost have to be perfect. You have to have the artistry, you have to hit the jumps, and you have to sell this performance. Hit all the levels in your spins, your footwork. There's so much to do. Looking at the field on paper, Anna is the only skater who has really been comparable as far as scores are concerned to Yevgenia Medvedeva. And looking ahead at the Russian Nationals, she definitely will be one of the skaters that will challenge Medvedeva for that title. The only skater other than Medvedeva to win two gold medals on the Grand Prix circuit this season. I've loved watching her this season. You can see it on her face. She is fighting for everything. And in the back of her mind, she knows Yevgenia is so, so good that she is gonna win. But you know Anna, she wants to win. She's gonna try to find a way. Less than six points back too, going into the free skate. Fabulous music choice for her. behind the music. I've never seen her so consistent, so well trained. You can even see it on her face. She's so intense. She just needs to relax, <laughs> smile. She did a good job. <laughs> that world bronze medal last year definitely gave her so much confidence. She's now become one of the, the artists in the ladies that I remember a few years ago when she burst onto the Grand Prix series scene 
where she won the Cup of China, but she was so unartistic, was almost painful. And now she's that diva that we look forward to watching. It was an odd season last season in the Grand Prix because she didn't make it to the Grand Prix final. She's been here now three times, but with that ninth place finish in Japan, it, she had no chance. Technically, she's been on fire. Here's her triple, triple, triple. Let's triple toe. She has the confidence and she has the speed to get through that combination. Beautiful technique on these elements. This, the triple Lutz half loop, triple sow cow, really takes advantage of having long arms, long legs, winds up properly for each jump. Got a smile now. Yeah. It's a, it's a tense smile, but it's a smile. There are the number. Well, a wide smile. smile now. Over 143. You see the SB, the season's best for Anna Pogorelia, and it's been a very good season already. Johnny, I think you're right. I think it was that world bronze medal last year that changed her quite a bit after being in the shadows for a long time. Certainly, but she still is a skater that does not want to be a bronze medalist. She wants to be a gold medalist. And 216, a solid, beautiful score. The ladies are shooting for right around 220. Look at the lead she's got right now, though. That's significant.